Brazil's Finance Minister Paulo Guedes is one of the names featured in the Pandora Papers, which show he is personally benefiting from the policies he's implementing in the country. Our correspondent Brian Mir has the details. Brazil's Finance Minister Paulo Guedes is one of the original Chicago boys. He studied under neoliberal guru Milton Friedman at University of Chicago in the 1970s and is considered to be one of the most mediocre of his students. He was never able to publish his dissertation, even in Portuguese. Since he's taken office, he's continued the deep austerity measures that started after the 2016 coup, and he's implemented policies that have weakened the Brazilian real against the dollar. Now it's come out in the Pandora's papers that he's benefiting personally from these policies because he's got millions of dollars in holdings in the British Virgin Islands in a company that he created in 2014. He didn't declare his assets when he took office. And there's records that on a single day two years ago, he deposited $9.55 million into this account. So as long as the Brazilian real keeps going down, his assets continue to increase. This has got a lot of Brazilian people calling for his resignation. Meanwhile, the Brazilian hegemonic media is buffering him from the crisis. They're just talking about Shakira and Tony Blair and some of the celebrities that have been tied up in Pandora Papers, but they're not mentioning Paulo Guedes, showing once again that Brazilian elites may be upset with Jair Bolsonaro, but they want to continue the deep austerity cuts. They want to continue privatizing Brazil's assets at pennies on the dollar to international capital interests. In the meantime, Paulo Guedes is coming under investigation. The opposition in Congress is starting an investigation into conflict of interest related to his offshore holdings in the British Virgin Islands.